Hello, who would? I'm Melissa Bethko. And I'm Riley Maxwell. And hey, here's what's happening at HMS. HMS. Break out that new college hat. Or hoodie. Or jersey. Or sweats. Because Friday is College Spirit Day. The Hillwood basketball teams return to the court next week against Capel North. Boys play on Monday and girls play on Thursday. Eighth grade teams play at home while seventh graders take the long bus trip to Capel. Did you miss picture day? Did you skip school because you had a bad hair day? Picture retakes are Friday, January 15th. And that's the news. Here's what else is happening at HMS. Hey, Hillwood, this is Miss Sullenberger. I have a special announcement to make. I have a sweet nomination from this student, Avery Griffin, and she was not able to do the, uh, the flip grid to uh, be here in person, but I wanted to say and share, she nominated a sweet, kind, dear friend that's always there for her, and November's seventh grade student of the month is Chelsea Rushing. I went to University of North Texas. Go Mean Green! Woo! I put all my eggs in one basket. I only applied to UNT and luckily it worked out. <laughs> I had three younger siblings and so it wasn't too far from home. It was about 30 minutes away. So enough distance to give me my own life a little bit, but still be able to come back and see them grow up. Um, and they have one of the best music programs ever. I had to um, make a vocal audition. Uh, I had to record myself singing in the choir room at Central. And um, it was like a video and we had to make a DVD of it and mail it to them. And um, I had to write an essay talking about why I wanted to go there, why I thought I would be a good contribution to them, I guess. I don't know the right word to use there. Um, I had to keep my grades up. I had to finish high school. Uh, and then just make sure I got the applications in on time. I did miss deadlines for scholarships, so I didn't get those. In my heart I will keep a secret Foolish little secret hidden from the rest In my dreams you're my own, my very own And I blanket you with love as I hold you to my chest Lizzie, he's not yours, Lizzie in his life your part is very small but if one day a toy should break, or maybe playing patty cake, you call me mama by mistake, I won't mind at all. I took sign language and I loved that. I was in choir my whole time, um, and obviously I loved that. Um, I really, really liked music history because it combined my two favorite things, which are music and history. So so they have this thing called the Library Mall, and it's like uh, right next to the library and between the Union Building, like where everybody hangs out. It's just a big brick strip, and there's a fountain that's in it, two fountains, uh, one that's a circle and one that's really long. And the long one has like streams going like this, and then the circle just has a fountain, like the Friends opening. Um, and you're not supposed to get in them. And so anytime there was a game and people would win, which didn't happen very often back then, happens more now. <laughs> but anytime people would win, they would jump in the fountains and everybody would get in trouble. And then also this one guy put soap in the fountains all the time and kept getting busted for it. And there was a person who wore a flower pot on his head, always. Like even when he graduated, he had the pot on his head. And there was a person who dressed up like Spider-Man every day. Um, for me, the hardest part about being in college was learning that it's different than high school. Um, in middle school, of course in middle school it's different than high school, high school is different than college, but I had a hard time adjusting to the fact that I was 100% in charge of my own learning. Um, I didn't have teachers that were going to be like, make sure you turn this in, because they don't care, because they have a zillion students and they don't have time to learn my name. Um, so I had to be I had to be on top of myself that way, and that's something that I struggled with a little bit. Um, I ended up not passing math my first couple times, and um, it took meeting with the professor and going to office hours, which is like tutorials. I had to realize that it's okay to ask for help if you need it, um, and kind of figure out how to take control of my own learning that way. The best thing about being in college was probably getting to meet people from everywhere. Um, because I studied music, uh, our program is internationally known at UNT, 
And so I have friends that live in England. I have friends that teach in South Korea. My friend Claire teaches in Thailand, um, like pretty much any like state in the United States. If I needed to go anywhere, I could hit someone up and be like, hey, I'm here, let's get coffee. And we would still be able to just like pick up where we left off. So I think probably the friends from everywhere would be my favorite part. Students, we need to talk to you for a moment about something very important. We need your help. We know that students sometimes say things about hurting themselves, hurting others, and even killing others. We know that these things are often said either as a joke or out of anger. It's rare that the person saying these things truly wants to go through with hurting themselves or someone else. It's easy to laugh it off, call them strange, and move on, but we just can't take that chance. We need your help in making Hillwood a safe place for all students and staff. We are here to take care of each other, and part of taking care of each other means reporting to an adult when you hear or see anything that could be concerning. If you receive a text, see something on social media, or hear someone say that they are thinking of hurting or killing themselves, or anyone else, we need you to report it. If someone talks about having a weapon or bringing a weapon to school, we need you to report it immediately. Tell an adult immediately. Ask your teacher if you can go to the front office and speak to the ladies asking to talk to an available administrator or counselor. If you're at home, tell a parent or a trusted adult. We know that reporting to an adult is sometimes the last thing you want to do. But not reporting a concern and having something terrible happen is so much worse. Reporting on a concern whether you believe it to be real or not, is not snitching. It's the most important thing you can do to help us make sure Hillwood stays a safe and fun place to be every day. So, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and together we will keep Hillwood safe.